Have you ever worried about what apps may be collecting from you as far as data? What information they know, what don't they know? You always hear these horror stories about how bad Facebook and TikTok have been and all the information they've been collecting, but are they really that bad? Well, now Apple has implemented a new feature where you can see exactly what information they are trying to get from you, which is great because now you can make that decision if you want to continue using that app because of this. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can see that. Please keep in mind you have to be on iOS 14.3 or higher to see this feature. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you haven't checked out the website, please swing by, check it out sometime, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, do me a favor, smack that subscribe button, we would love to have you. And for everyone that has already joined, thank you. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in and show you exactly what's going on. You'll see my phone here with the new version comes an update to the App Store. So if you click on the App Store, we went through and searched for Facebook just to kind of give you an idea. And TikTok and Facebook are both shown here. But why don't we start with TikTok? When we click on it, everything's going to look very similar. But what you can do is scroll down and you're going to find some new stuff here. There we go. Data used to track you. Following data may be used to track you across apps and websites owned by other companies. So they collect your contact info and identifiers. That'll link to you. They can collect any of this information, purchases, financial info, locations, contact info, contacts, user content, search history, browser history, identifiers, usage data, and diagnostics. You can also scroll down a little more, it gives you a little more. Data not linked to you that it can collect is data usage. So that is a lot of information there. That's a lot of stuff. And I know TikTok used to be even worse. I think they have kind of lessened the amount, but that is still a lot of stuff. So let's go back and why don't we go ahead and check Facebook here real quick just to get an idea. It's not rated very well, is it? <laughs> 2.8. So if you look here, you're going to see a lot more under data linked to you. They don't collect anything that's not linked to you, so they want it all. The one thing that scares me is the part that says sensitive info. So yeah, I always wanted to know more about these, and it does give you a little more information at times. What you could do is tap on it and it'll give you all the identifiers. But if you scroll down, go down here, to sensitive info, all it does is say sensitive info. That's it. That's not much of a identifier there. But they do collect a lot of information. This is like the full guide on everything. And yeah, sensitive info just says sensitive info. But some other things are explained in more detail here. So you can see this does use a lot of tracking. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the games I play, Shop Titans. Let's go ahead and look, because I'm kind of curious what a, a game would track. Wow, look at that. Data not linked to you. Identifiers, usage, diagnostics. That's it. That's all they take. That's pretty crazy. They don't even track you. I thought it was, I, I don't know, I just had to check it. What about, let's check another one. Archero is another one I used to play. Data used to track you, usage data. That makes sense. I mean, they want to know how long you're playing and data not linked to you. Identifiers, which is like contacts and stuff like that, which some of this stuff you do need for the features. But yeah, wow, that's... Why don't we check one more? Let's do another social media. Maybe we'll try like Twitter just to see what that looks like compared to Facebook. Eh, it's still got a decent amount, but the sensitive info is not there. It's kind of interesting to do this. Let's go ahead and check. I was going to check Reddit next and they actually have it listed right here. This is another social media platform. Yeah. Very interesting. So if you want to take a deep dive and see what's going on with what apps are tracking you, 
update to the newest version 14.3 and you will now see this when you go check the apps. If you're not seeing it, that just means you need to update your phone. So I hope this helped and I hope you learned a little bit more about privacy with apps. Thank you so much for the view.